You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Hello from the Gold Coast So we've just checked into our little um, apartment It's actually really nice here and we got off the plane It was so so lovely Like the weather here is just beautiful You know when you just arrive on holidays And you just want it to feel like a holiday Like I'm just so excited because the weather's so nice so we've just checked into our little abode for the next um, few days. So excited. I thought I would just show you around really quickly. Um, but yeah, the plane ride was amazing. Camilla could not have been better, honestly. I feel so lucky. She slept the whole way. That was fine. Like, she just honestly loved it. She was no worries at all. Then, um, yeah, just like got to our room. Harry isn't here yet either. So I just thought we're just like here waiting for him. Think I'm just gonna go get some lunch. Didn't really get to do that beforehand. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you around. Hello, Bubba. Having a little play? Hi. <laughs> you were such a good girl on the plane. Now you've had a little bottle. Okay, so you come in here. It's like a little laundry room. Then we've got like dining sort of space. This beautiful, like, it's like a fully serviced apartment actually. Like kitchen. Oh wow, yeah, it's got everything. So like nice little kitchen, big dining area, a play mat for Baba! Yay! TV, nice little outdoor area. But like look how nice the weather is. Like hello. Oh gorgeous pool view. How nice is that? Can't wait to go and lay down there. So nice. The beach is just right over there. So then you come in here, which is a really nice, big, spacious room, actually. Hello, look how good this is. <laughs> really good selfie mirror. <laughs> Camilla's little bed. This is actually so nice, though, that it's got, like, this whole space here. There's another mirror, but, like, I love this. Like, a bed in here. I mean, a couch in here. Then you go in here with a really nice wardrobe which I'm totally gonna hang on my things. I love doing that when I'm on holidays. And then look at this bathroom. So nice, big bath, huge like double vanity. That is so nice, a big shower. Yeah, loving this. Just sitting in there while I've unpacked everything, unpacked all my toiletries and makeup. Then I just really quickly unpacked all of my clothes and hung them all up. Mostly because they're all like linen pieces, so I wanted them to, to not get creased. Camilla stuff's still in there, and then I've just unpacked all of my um, like accessories and ready to go. You like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay because you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. So, I'm just getting ready to go out for dinner. Um, and I've just popped on these white linen pants from Target that I shared in my last vlog. And then just this little singlet, but I can't decide. It's, it's not like cold, but it's definitely not as warm, like once the sun goes down here. So I don't know whether to pop on this linen shirt or I've also got like a cardigan. So I might try that on as well and see what I want to wear. But yeah, super comfy. I've just got these um, slides. These ones are from Joe Mercer and I'm thinking I'll go for just like a black bag as well. So then we've got this little Cardi. This one's just from H&M. I really can't decide, but I think I'm going to go for this. I don't know. I feel like it's just like a cozier vibe. I can button it up, but I don't think I will. Although I do think it would look really cute if it was tucked in. Anyway, we're heading off to Karen's cafe for dinner and I will let you know how we go. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love So just getting ready for the day Just had a quick shower And now trying to be efficient And just quickly do some makeup um, We are heading off to Movie World today So excited Like haven't been to Movie World since oh, Just forever um, So Or any of the theme parks for that matter so yeah, we're so excited. And we've got some friends here that we're with as well. And they've got two young kids, which are about six and nine, I think. So it's just gonna be so exciting to go with them. They're gonna love it. 
Um, and also Camilla, like on the plane and just going out for dinner and stuff. She was just like looking around, sitting in her pram, like taking it all in. And it's just so cute. So I can't wait to see her like get so excited. Um, and hopefully there's some rides for her. Harry said there might be some teacups or something we can take her on. How cute. Um, but yeah, anyway, just quickly getting ready um, so that we can go. So last night we went out for dinner. We actually, I'll insert some clips or I might have already. And we went to Karen's Diner or is it Karen's Diner or Cafe, yeah. Harry? Diner. Diner. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Um, so if you haven't heard of it, it's basically like this cafe where all the waiters and everything are really rude to you. Like that's the idea of it. Um, you, like we've seen it on TikTok and stuff, but I didn't really know too much about it. And to be honest, like it's so overwhelming when we first got there, I had actual anxiety. Um, like I just didn't know what to expect. So like you get there and the guy that's greeting you, like he's so full on rude. They swear at you and they like call you names and like they're very full on. They just throw the food, like throw the menus on the table at you. They sit your food somewhere else, like throw napkins. And when you ask for things, they're just so rude. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know why anyone pays to go and have that experience. But anyway, um, yeah, it was like very, I like very full on. We're, um, we were all a bit like, oh, we don't know about this. Um, and at the start I had actual anxiety, but then anyway, once we got into it, it was fine. I just kind of sat there, didn't say much, but it's definitely like if you give it back to them, they really give it to you. So. Anyway, it was a fun experience, but like, it is such a weird concept. I don't know if I'm all about it um, or not. It was very weird, but anyway, that was, it was like fun to go and do as a group. But you obviously wouldn't be going there just for like, yeah, just for fun all the time. Um, so anyway, we did that. Now we're just gonna go off to Movie World for the day. I don't know like how much of filming or whatever I do, but I mainly just want to like share my outfits and stuff, so I'll get ready soon. But then, Actually, this afternoon, I'm really excited. We're going to go shopping at Pacific Fair, which, again, I haven't been to in years, but it's like a really beautiful shopping center, and they've done it up heaps. So I'm excited to go have a little bit of a shop. There's like a few makeup bits and stuff that I want to try out that over the past few weeks, if I've run out of things or um, I just like haven't restocked, and I thought, no, I'm going to wait and go and try some new things instead of just like buying the same ones that I always use. So I'm excited to go and check out that. Quick outfit update and then we're running out the door. We've got just like this white shirt and shorts outfit. I've gone for instead of sandals. I thought I better go for sneakers so that when we're just walking around, it's a bit comfy. White linen shirt is from Marks and Spencer. My Oriton belt, these striped shorts from Sheen, which were in my haul the other week. Um, yeah, I feel like a little bit like I'm going to Jurassic Park. But anyway, we are going to a theme park, so that kind of counts. <laughs> Who's ready to go to the theme parks? Yay! We excited, everyone? We sure are. What's Bubba wearing? Her little sun hat. And this really cute little romper from the Childish Shop, I think it's called. Oh. Yay! Excited! The she'll never know. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well Alright, so I just thought I would come on and share a little haul from what I picked up in the shops last night. Mostly just a few bits from Zara and then Sephora and Mecca. Just picked up some new makeup bits, so I wanted to share that. But first off, Zara, they didn't have too much. I don't know whether it's like Queensland has different stock to Melbourne, like Victoria, 
or online. I don't know, but or it could be just the change of the season. But I feel like there was heaps of um, really bright things, which I know bright colours are coming back again. <sighs> which gives me anxiety. Um, no, there was just like heaps of florals, like really bright things, which I just um, feel like I wouldn't get wear out of, obviously. <laughs> um, but anyway, there was it was really nice to just go in store and see what was around. But I picked up which I picked up three things which they all happen to be stripes. This isn't intentional. I just I don't know what it is. Stripes at the moment. I mean they're always classic, but first this really cute little it's like a little knitted sweater, like really light though, the perfect light, really, really thin um sweater. I got this in a size medium as well. I just wanted it to be like a bit oversized. I'm thinking, you know, chuck it over your shoulders like this really easily. Just like perfect for like spring summer weather even in like where i live in victoria it's always like cold at night you can always do with something like this even in summer so yeah this one's really nice i will leave all the description and everything down below because i don't know if they're online but yeah this one in a size medium this next one this is a size medium as well i sized up just because i wanted a relaxed fit but just this really nice like basic black and white striped tee it's also a really nice thickness too it's like a bit thicker than just like a um, a light tee so I just thought this would be really cute super classic just like tuck it into shorts or trousers even with jeans so I thought that one was really nice then last up I picked up this dress now you know I love like if you've been watching me for a while or you follow me I just absolutely love midi dresses and especially like linen or cotton like shirt dresses I just feel like they're so classic really timeless so I got this one which a little bit different for me um, hard to show you in the camera, but it's this gorgeous like blue and white stripe. It's got like alternating striped, um, light blue and dark blue. Super nice. I also tried, um, filmed a little clip in the change room, so I'll put it here so you can see it fully or a photo. Um, but obviously I don't wear color. I don't really like color, but lately I've been really enjoying this blue color on me. You would have seen the H&M shirt that I've been wearing heaps. Ever since that, I just feel like I really like this color now. Like just a little bit, not too much. But yeah, I just thought this was really classic, really nice. It's giving me all the like Hampton sort of vibes. But I will say, so this is in a size extra small as well. So it's quite like normal to, uh, true to size. Sorry, it's already relaxed. So you don't need to size up. I will say though, before I, when I put it on without a belt, it kind of made me feel like I was wearing a hospital gown. It was just like really big um, and like too oversized, but I love it with the belt, so I think it's perfect. And I think this blue goes really nicely with the tan. So I put my tan belt on with it, loved it. So that was Zara. Next up, makeup. So some of these bits are just like regular things that I've already used, like my favorites that I needed to restock. But then I also picked up some new bits that I was so excited to try. So first up, just like my faves, I picked up some more Fix Plus from MAC, which I just love. Next up, Hourglass. I picked up these, which um, I've been using for years. So this one is the Ambient um, Lightning Powder, which is just like my powder that I use on top of foundation or moisturizer every day. I use the color Dim Light, which I've been using this for years. Basically, I've had this for ages. I've got my other palette sitting right here too. So this is where I first tried it. It comes in this palette here that middle one loved it so I use it every day now I went and got one of these but I actually bought it in Hawaii years ago and it's lasted so long that it's not even empty but I'm like that's so old I need to replace it so anyway I just thought I would update it get a new one and how nice is like new powder when you first open it love that it's just like a really nice light powder if you're looking for something I don't know I don't like really full coverage makeup like matte really heavy makeup i just like really light natural looking still kind of see your skin a bit dewy just like really natural so that powder is the only powder i've found that really suits my skin and it's still a bit like sheer and glowy it's not like really thick so perfect then my favorite concealer this one is the hourglass concealer love it i use the shade cotton i don't know i just feel like it's just, I used to use the NARS Creamy Concealer, but I just feel like that creased under my eyes. It was a bit thick and a bit full coverage for me. But the Hourglass stuff, I just feel like it really suits like what I want, like the look that I like. So yeah, if you haven't tried it, definitely try out their concealer. It's so nice. It's really creamy too, but I just feel like it's not as thick, but it's still good coverage. And it sort of like brightens under your eyes. 
I also stocked up on some of my favorite lipsticks. I was going in there just to like have a look at some new lippies, but I just feel like I wanted to just restock my favorites because I use them all the time, which I go on about them so much, both from MAC, Honey Love and Velvet Teddy, my two favorites. They're both very similar, but one's a bit more like pinky, one's a bit more like beige, just like natural color. My absolute favorites. Then, oh my gosh, at Sephora, I was so excited to go and try out Rare Beauty. I haven't seen it in life, in life, in, yeah, I guess in real life yet, but I was so excited to go and try it out. The only thing is they just really didn't have any stock, especially the blush. So hang on, I'm just going to go get it. So yeah, the only thing at Sephora, I feel like they just had no stock of anything in Rare Beauty. Obviously it's like really popular. So, um, but I was just really wanted to try it out, but I was lucky. They had the exact blush that I wanted. So I've seen them all over TikTok. Um, I was really excited to try out the liquid and the creamy blushes. And oh my gosh, I was so excited. I got one of the creamy ones. The texture, like the formula is so beautiful. So really cute packaging. And like, they're just stunning. It is so nice and creamy on your, like when you put it on. So like, just literally like put a little bit on like this. And this one, there's like some darker ones, but like just like pop it in with your hands. So creamy, just like really, really natural. But so nice, like totally worth the hype. Like, and the price, like really affordable. I think this blush was $35, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, like I don't, I've never tried a creamy or liquid blush before. I've always just gone for like powder. I love these ones from Hourglass. Also love the Pillow Talk one, Cheek to Cheek, I think it's called, from Charlotte Tilbury. Anyway, so excited to try that out. And I'm so glad they had this one in stock but highly recommend, like they're just beautiful. Like the products, the foundations looked really nice too, but I'm just like not a huge foundation girl. Um, but anyway, I just absolutely loved and look how cute the packaging. What else did I get? Oh, I picked this up from Mecca, from Mecca Max, the um, eyebrow soap, eyebrow, no, brow guru. Yeah, it's like a soap, um, like a waxy soap for your eyebrows, just to give you that like laminated, kind of vibe love it again I saw that on tiktok and just had to get it to try it out but then something else i saw on tiktok which i really wanted to try were these laura mercier eyebrow sticks and uh, eyeshadow sticks sorry they are called caviar sticks and oh my gosh so cool so i'm not like a huge eyeshadow person i'm just like super natural with what i like to do on my eyes but oh with my whole face but I do like a bit of natural eyeshadow and I'm also not very good at doing like crazy eyeshadow, you know, like some people are really good at the whole, I'm just trying to find a towel for my finger. Um, some people are really good at the whole like contour, beautiful, gorgeous eye. Not me, totally not good at it, but these are so pretty, like so nice. So the colors I picked up were, what color is this? Cobblestone and rose gold so let's do one more shade let me see which i want to go back and see if they've got it um what other color was it a natural that's the other color i want to go and get totally like um really worth it they're so beautiful basically they're just like a little stick like this you just like put a little bit on dab it in with your fingers they're really natural so i've gone for like there's like a good base color a bit more of a pinky color and then like just a really lighter natural color the other colors that I tested like on my fingers were a bit too, like depends what you like though. There's some really like shimmery, glittery sort of colors, which I didn't love. So I just picked up the natural ones, but I haven't tried them out yet. Like on my eyes, I will let you know once I do, but yeah, so nice. They're like so pretty and um, yeah. Thank you so much to TikTok for like wasting all my money basically. <laughs> anyway. I'm ready for the day. I um, don't know what we're doing. We might go for like a wander, have some lunch. Um, but yeah, we're just like having a chill morning this morning. I walked down and get got um, some Starbucks down the road and just took Camilla for a walk. But yeah, we're just like having such a beautiful time, just like chilling out. Oh, I forgot to tell you as well. I tried out some new foundations. So um, I just got two samples from two different colors to try out from Mecca, just so I can test the color again. Um, I'm not a huge foundation person. I just really like really sheer, but like tint skin sort of foundation. And I was talking to the girl, I wanted to try a new 
um, tinted moisturizer. So you guys know that I love the Chi Chi one, which I still love, and I'll use that just for like everyday sort of stuff. But I just want to get something with a tiny bit more coverage. I just feel like the coverage, and by the end of the day, it's you know coming off a little bit. Um, I don't mind that just for like around the house, whatever, but just like if you're going somewhere and you want a bit more, but I don't love like full coverage. So in the past I've loved and I've like got it at home, the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. I feel like I use that if I'm going to like a wedding or an event. Um, I also love the face and body from MAC. I just feel like that's the perfect consistency, but I wanted to try something else. So I was looking at the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizers which I've used before and loved. And then I was speaking to the girl and I was saying how I wanted a bit more coverage. And then she was showing me this one from Bobbi Brown, which I've never used anything from Bobbi Brown before, but she was like, just let me try it on you. See what you think. So beautiful. But again, you know, when you're in the store, it was also nighttime. It's like really hard to see. So I'm like, oh, do you mind if I take a sample, try it tomorrow with my actual makeup? Cause I find it really hard when you go in there and you've already got makeup on. So anyway, it is so nice. It's just like the perfect coverage, but it's not really like full foundation. Also, I used the tiniest amount. Like I've got probably like another two weeks worth in the little sample pot. It is called Serum. I think it's like the Serum Foundation. So they've got two that I looked at, Skin Foundation and then Serum Foundation. But the Skin one was like a bit more heavy coverage, which I didn't really like. The Serum, it's obviously got Serum in it and it was just like this beautiful consistency. Again, it was a little bit expensive, similar to Luminous Silk. I think it's about $100. But again, because I wanted to bring it home and try it, and again, it just would last so long for me because I don't really use foundation that much. And I don't put too much on, but I just used a beauty blender. She said you can also use a brush. And oh my gosh, it's just like the most beautiful consistency. I don't know if you can see like my skin close up, but it was just exactly what I wanted. Like still really glowy still like dewy and like just natural looking. I don't feel like I've got full makeup and full foundation on. So anyway, I'm gonna try it out for a few more days and before purchasing, just because I wanted to check the color. But yeah, I just thought I would share that because if you're like me and you don't love like full, full, full foundation, totally different for like an event. I like, you know, having a bit more makeup, but just for every day, if I'm going out somewhere special, I don't really like heaps of makeup. So anyway, loved it really beautiful and again i probably would never have gone for that i don't really know much about bobby brown i've never really heard about it but yeah anyway thought i would share that today's outfit just heading off for some lunch is this gorgeous um dress from target that i shared in my last vlog the super cheap one that i got on sale again so gorgeous oh, hi guys <laughs> i mean harry's having a bottle camilla's having a bottle <laughs> so i've just got this on with um my sandals and then I think I'm just going to take like a little bag, my hair up in a bun today because uh, it was just annoying me having it down yesterday. So yeah, super cute. It's like the perfect um, length as well. Like a, it's just like really comfy. Then I'll just grab my bag. So I think I'm going to go for this brown bag, just like a good size to chuck a few things in. The sunnies as well, just like matches nicely with the sandals. And then just a quick spritz before we go. My absolute favorite. Giorgio Armani, C. All right, we're just leaving, but I wanted to get Harry's out for the today, today because I think he looks so nice. Go on, give us a whirl. <laughs> and who are you wearing? Uh, what do we got? Just by Tommy Hilfiger. Nice shirt. Loving my new country road shoes as well. They pretty much go with every Everything. outfit that I've packed. <laughs> uh, Tom so nice. Ford Sunnies have been Got Very these big. for Harry for, were they for your birthday or for Christmas? Oh, they sort of blended Yeah, nice something. His birthday's in January, so I can never remember, but yeah, they're, they're so like nice that. if you're looking for some sunnies for your, for your fiance. <laughs> and I pretty much Shorts? the Apple Watch for the Yes. Gone with the Daniel He's not, we're on holidays, so you don't need your Apple Watch for work. Where are the shorts from? I'm yes. Sure. Shorts. Maybe Gasmi or Gas something. Yeah, like maybe. Love it. And what about you, Bobby? You're just waiting patiently in the pram. Let's go. Where are we going? <laughs> kind of hungry. What are we feeling? Nothing really much. I was going to get a boost juice before, mm. but got hot chocolate instead. So I feel like I'd really like, oh, can't really fit in here. Um, oh. Round. I feel like I could go for a juice today. Juice would be good. That's yeah. pretty much all I can go for for lunch. Yay. Let's go. 
You cut off her I'm head. You had me at a Cause where you go is where I go First up, I'm just trying on this little card again These little um, viscose 1999 ones they're so good although looks like I've got big muscles it's hard to tell because I've got this puffy sleeve dress but I think the smalls will be fine so it's just this gorgeous oatmeal color and then I also got it in the white over there to try on too but I just love I also bought these ones from H&M that I think I've shown already um, before the I've got a black and like a beige one similar but they're more like knitted like woolen Whereas these are just like viscose. I just love them for like throwing on over dresses like this, wearing by themselves, like tucked into things. So yeah, super cute. Love that. Then I'm just trying on this little like linen-y sort of vibe set. So it's got the shirt and the pants, very like holiday. I don't know, it's just like really cute. I don't know if you can see on the fabric. I can show you, it's kind of like rippled, like it's, yeah, anyway. It's like a nice beige color. I just thought it was cute for like holidays, spring. So this, I'm wearing a small in the top and a small in the pants, but to be honest, I think I would like to go a medium. They're just like a bit tight around the waist and like around here, because they're not, they're not very stretchy and I feel like I'll get really sick of the size. They'll be kind of too tight, but the top's fine. I also just think you could wear this like with heaps of things. Wear this by itself, same with the pants, but yeah. Super cute. I th it would also look nice if you sort of just tucked it like that, tuck half in. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride all the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Quick change and we're off to dinner. I've just swapped out. It's a little bit colder now. The wind sort of like changed. So I've just popped on like a knitted like tank top and this white linen skirt, which is so nice. I got this on holidays when we're in robes. So I'm not actually sure. Like it was just a random like little clothes shop. Um, this tank, this was just from Target, I think. And this is just the little sweater that I bought from Zara. I just thought I could wear it like this. Um, and then put it over my shoulders later. Um, now we're off to dinner and um, yeah, I'll show you. Also, just an update, super happy with um, the foundation that I tried, the Bobbi Brown Serum one that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, so, so, so nice. And it's lasted, so it's been on since this morning and it's now like nearly four o'clock. It's lasted so well and the coverage is perfect, like not too thick or I feel like I'm just wearing too much foundation. So yeah, so nice. ready to head off for the day we're just gonna go out oh gosh it's just started raining oh so annoying um it's a little bit cooler here today too so i've opted for like long sleeves and pants 
Um, but I just wanted to show, I just tried out the um, Laura Mercier eyeshadow sticks that I was showing you yesterday. Um, I'm not a huge fan of eyeshadow during the day. I don't know. Sometimes during the day, I feel like it just makes me look too put together. I don't know. But anyway, I was just so excited to try it out. They are so nice. Like, so easy to put on. I'm not great at eyeshadow. And you just kind of like, I just like put it on with the crown like that. And then just got the um, eyeshadow brush and blended it in. I used two different color, the two that I showed. Um, but yes, yeah, so nice. They're really natural as well. So I liked that. Anyway, just getting ready, I thought I would just quickly show you my outfit. Um, but yeah, we're heading off for the day. Just get some lunch, have a look at the shops. Oh, like down, um, we're going to go to Surface Paradise today. We haven't been there yet. Um, just go to the markets, but it's just such a shame that it started raining. Anyway, okay, you can tell even just in the camera how gloomy it is in here today. Um, I've bought on the same Target, like white linen trousers that I had the other day. Oraton belt again, like all tan accessories I've gone for and just this really cute little striped sweater navy and cream that I got from Zara the other day at the shops. So I thought that was super cute. Um, but yeah, it's just like a little bit colder so I didn't want to be cold. I was going to wear like a white linen dress but I might wear that later or even tomorrow if it's a bit nicer. I just thought I don't want to be cold today. Hey Papa, you all ready to go in your little outfit? Yay! You just hold this for me two secs. I just want to share what we got yesterday. Okay, so I think I filmed a little clip in the change room at H&M, but basically I just got these two little cardigans. These are the viscose ones, $19.99. Like, really great, really affordable. So like a nice beige, uh, like neutral color and white. They're also really great for workwear too. So I love those. Seed, something really cute that I picked up. This little woman dress, which I thought was so Ooh. nice. Um, how cute is that? It ties off the top here. This was called the... Hmm, doesn't have a name. <laughs> I will link this down below if it's still... Um, it should be online. It was new in. So I just thought that was so cute. I love the sleeves as well. Like puffy sleeves. Gorgeous sharing at the top. And then I picked up these cute little shoes for Camilla. How cute are they? <gasps> They're for you, Bubba. Yeah. Little cute shoes. What else did I get? I also got... They won't fit her yet, obviously. <laughs> she doesn't have any hair, but these super cute little clips. So yeah, can't wait for her to wear those. And yeah, that was all for today. All right, let's go. Right, just packing all the bags. Gosh, fellow parents will know the struggle. It's just like a whole new experience traveling, isn't it? <laughs> With the baby. <laughs> so Harry's just like filling up. A few questions about our mister as well. I will, yep, that's a cue, right on cue. So just filling that up, um, packing her bags for the day, formula, <laughs> nappies. Also, I just swapped out for the for some sneakers because I feel like, I oh know we're just walking around the shops. Want to be comfy? Are you ready to go? Yay! So hopefully she's falling asleep in there. But I just wanted to share as well that we've been so happy with this travel pram, haven't we? Yes. Like such a good buy. Like, butterfly. Yeah, the butterfly. Um, and I shared it in my travel vlog last, like my packing vlog, sorry. I also just bought this clip from, I think this was from Baby Bunting. I don't know. I think that just straps onto any pram, but just carries like a little That's handbag. Handy. Very handy. That's handy. Her baby bag fits under the front, which is good. It obviously doesn't have a big, as big a like basket thing as normal pram, but like I feel like for traveling, you don't need it. This goes down for when, like this is good for shade and like airflow. She's laying down right now in the lay down bit, but it can also sit up. You just kind of like push that bit and clip it in. But yeah, it's like so easy to go in and like go up and down. Yeah, yeah, so I showed how it goes up and down, like so easy. It's been absolutely brilliant. Like, highly recommend. Highly recommend. So like, and as I said before, this is like not sponsored or anything. Like we purchased this ourselves. But um, yeah, just like made it so easy. As I said, I didn't want to pack our like check in now. Um, I'll press this while we wait. Check in our other bugaboo, like our actual brand, because I didn't want like the airline to wreck it. Plus we don't need like a big one here. And it was just so easy on the plane. And also we've been just going in taxis. Um, or like on the bus. Oh, Ubers. actually, we took the bus once to get from the airport, but no, we haven't been on a bus. What am I thinking of? Um, oh yeah, we did. Going down? We did. We went on one bus, like the airport bus, to the parking. But no, we've just got taxis and Ubers, which has been super fine with baby. I wasn't sure how to do that, and I was nervous because they don't have a car seat. 
um, but otherwise it's too hard to get around. So you're actually allowed to just go in taxis and Ubers and just hold on to your baby. So that's what we've been doing. Um, and then like the prams just made it so easy. She just like the pram quickly folds up, hops in the boot. But yeah, like highly recommend. Um, oh gosh, look at the, <laughs> it's a bit funny. It's just, it's almost as good a quality as a regular pram though. Yeah, like you could totally just use this for like normal pram as well. Um, and I was even thinking like we can even just use this when we're like if we're just quickly going in the car like for a weekend to like Melbourne or whatever like a weekend away and we don't want to take up boot space with our whole it's like fully raining I feel like we should get an uber we were gonna walk down the street um as I was saying yeah like if you just wanted to take your travel pram for the weekend away without like taking up boot space with your whole other pram yeah you could easily do that as well so yeah, highly recommend. Oh, it's like so nice here, but just started raining. Anyway, I think we're gonna get an Uber instead of walking, which is such a shame. Mm -hmm. I'll drop you out of the other side up there. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the mall and all. Perfect. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you. And it's home time today. We've just packed up the apartment and got ready for the airport. I'm just wearing this casual linen dress from Zara and my sneakers just need to be comfy today but it's like such a shame because it's so nice today always the way it's like so sunny and nice out there today whereas yesterday compared to yesterday and stuff when we were walking around the city or like the beach and stuff and it was just so raining so so annoying but anyway we're going home yes oh gosh there's just packing up all Bubba's stuff what are we doing just sterilized bottles so we just brought this from home, but now we've got to <laughs> pack it in our suitcase. They are so hot. Maybe we can just quickly dry them. And here's little, here's little Bubba all ready to go to the airport.